Hey, what up Snaz fam? Hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all surviving and thriving in these unique times. I hope you're safe, I hope you're healthy, I hope your jobs are secure, and if you're a parent and your kids are home all day, I know you love them, but best of luck. As for the Burlacker household, we are all good, thankfully. My wife is out on a hike enjoying nature, which is okay to do right now. James is off gallivanting about in his C8, which I believe he comes home today, so I'm excited to see that. It might show up in this video. I just don't know what time he's gonna get home. But as far as me, I'm just at home chilling, and I thought, what could I do since I'm home alone? First thing that came to mind was I need to clean the Shelby because uh, yeah, I should be embarrassed, and I am. The second thing is I thought I've never really tested the off-road capabilities of the Hummer H2. So I thought now seems like the perfect time to do that. However, I don't want to go super far, get stuck, because I've never really tested it, have it break down, have to call someone and all that. So I thought, what could I do? And then it hit me, the backyard. I got a big pile of dirt, I got a bunch of big rocks, and I got some mud back there. That is the perfect spot to test the H2 for its preliminary run. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go off-roading in the backyard. Yeah. It may sound kinda lame, but I actually think it's gonna be pretty epic. And the pro is, if I break down and I'm stuck in the backyard, I can just hop out, come into the house, I'm all good. And then I'll just wait for James's Jeep Gladiator 6x6 to be done, and then he can just pull me out, although it'd, it'd be there for a while. Stay tuned. As a side note, I did clean the garage floor the other day. It's quite nice. However, we have fresh coolant on the ground, which means the Shelby is still leaking, and I still don't have a plan to resolve it. So I'm just sharing that information, that's all. Tell you what, she's looking good. She is ready to go, which is a good thing because before we go off-roading, uh, I gotta run to Home Depot to get some paint because as you guys know, we're painting and we're supposed to get some home good, healthy, stopping at the healthy food store. So we'll be back and then uh, off-roading, we're gonna go over Mount Kilimanjaro and the Great Rockies. Yes, it's true, stay tuned. Oh, and I might test my zero to 60 skills while we're out, because I gotta practice. James got a C8. I, I feel like a race is coming on, so I gotta practice. All right, so we're gonna go to a secret spot. Woo, yeah, that was nice. To do just a couple pulls. I got winter tires on, so it's not gonna be anything special. But uh, we gotta practice a little bit. Let's go. We'd go to Mexico and do some legitimate uh, practice pulls, but uh, as you guys know, yeah, the border crossing's not ideal right now, so we're just we're just gonna do it uh, in a safe spot. Okay, so there's a lot of people at our secret spot right now, so we're just gonna do one hard pull real quick and then uh, go drive the Hummer over some major obstacles. Okay, that was a success, and the guys that were watching actually were supportive, so uh, that's good, that's good. All right, one more, then we're gonna go Hummer. Launch control, 4,700 RPMs, ready, one, two, three, go. was an all-time record that was like uh, 0 to 60 and 2.9 of course the the gauge isn't working we couldn't measure it and of course that's a fat exaggeration but it was still fun so let's go c8 oh by the way c8 i'm ready for you corvette let's go baby All right, great success. Let's go to the obstacles. Actually, I gotta change my shoes first because these are Jordans and I like these and I don't wanna get them all muddied up, so. All right, time to roll, baby. H2, didn't get it for nothing. We got the drone airborne as well. I'm gonna try to drive and fly at the same time. That's right, baby. Ooh, four low, baby, come on. Work with me, work with me. Four low. Nothing, what about four high? Four high worked. I don't have four low. Okay, doesn't seem to go into four low. We're gonna try to conquer everything in four high. Uh, yeah, she's already broken. Haven't even done anything. Oh. 
first thing. You don't want to fall off the cliffs of Gollum. No, you don't. We're going to go conquer Mount Kilimanjaro straight off the... Uh, yeah, we're going Kilimanjaro. First beat. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Taking it easy at first. We're going to do it again. I know that was basic. I don't want to crush my wife. I'm just, I'm getting a sense here, guys. Don't hit the fence. That'd be awkward. Uh, hey, John. Yeah, I broke your fence. Actually, we've been talking about putting a gate to connect the yards anyways, so maybe I should just drive right through the fence. That'd be epic. Okay, we're gonna go straight up the mountain. Straight up. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, flex, flex. We are, I, if this were like a more modern vehicle, it would have the, the angle uh, thing and it'd be maxed out because we are like, I don't know if you can tell. This is cool. We got the drone flying and we got the H2 sideways. It's not bad. I mean, this dirt is super loose. Kilimanjaro is definitely pulling up its challenges for sure. Uh, maybe if four low worked, I could get through it, but right now it's just getting caught in the loose dirt. I got two options. One, I can move on to the Rockies or I can take more speed at Kilimanjaro and just full send it. Should I full send it? <laughs> I'm getting a nod. Okay, so we're gonna try it one more time for Kilimanjaro. I'm gonna go full send through the... It's already broken. I hope I don't break it again. Um, I felt like that was pretty dramatic, but also anticlimactic. Like I just, I demolished it. I crushed right through it. We need to do it one more time, a little higher faster and then we'll move on I'm gonna be honest um, again that was easy the Hummer crushed it but as a novice driver I, I got scared for a wee little bit because I, I yeah I was pretty I don't know if you guys could tell but I was like okay the Rockies here we go think about the Rockies they help you get your workout in we're just setting up the course, making sure we're, you know, it, it's it's most epic level ever. Ah. Ah. I don't know if you guys knew, but that weighed like 25 pounds. <sighs> okay, like we discussed, the purpose of this is we are quarantined, so we're just trying to stay home, be safe. Also, I don't want to go out and get stuck somewhere. James is gone, his six by six is, you know, uh, in the progress of being built. So if I get a blown tire here, at least it happens here and we just park it for a while. I feel like we're only gonna get one crack at this, so let's make it count. The Hummers are so big, I have no idea where my tires are at, what they're on. So the benefit of doing it at home is I'm using the window reflection to guide me. It's convenient and it's working. We're crushing. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Hummer, Hummer. Yeah, how about that guys, the great Rockies demolished it only took one effort one pass and they were crushed i i could do it again but i don't want to embarrass them and the fire swamp we're gonna do it it's actually back there but we need more swamp aka more water and more fire so yes yeah, stay tuned for fire swamp uh stuff going on back there as soon as is not in this video 
coming up. There we have it. The H2 is crushing it. Also, if you guys notice, I did get a gas cap. Respect. So if you find yourself bored during this difficult time, just try to find an empty piece of land that, that hopefully you own or know someone that will allow you don't trespass and go do obstacles on that. As far as James, he was supposed to get home today in the C8 and he still will, but the video is over. So next video, you might see can 66 fit in the C8 Corvette. I think it's going to happen. If it does, best of luck to all of us. Hope you guys are doing great. Go crush it. Peace.